Okay, so I wanted to give you guys some tips for introducing the contact or helping you improve the contact on your horse. I know many of you guys have written in and asked me questions about like if you're if you have a horse that's maybe a off the track thoroughbred or maybe it's a western horse that you're starting to introduce to dressage and how you can kind of teach them about the contact and introduce it and you'll notice here my horse you know even when i'm standing still you see how he's kind of pulling and rooting around on me i don't like that because that's him a little bit disrespecting the contact so like when I'm standing here talking, I would like to just be able to have my horse stand here on the buckle, but I don't want them to be like rooting and pulling around on me. I see a lot of people that allow their horse to do that at the halt. And that's, you know, already at the halt um, is a place that, that your horse needs to be respectful of the contact. So, good boy. Like you saw there, he went to root, and I was like, no, don't root, be respectful. Good boy. All right, so check out the links below. I have an email list. Be sure you're on my email list if you like my videos. But, so if you have a horse and you're trying to reintroduce the contact, my first tip is that you should start from the ground. So I will link below, I have a ton of groundwork videos about how to introduce the contact first from the ground. But today we're going to talk about how to do it while you're riding. So the first thing that I always start with when I have a young horse or a horse that doesn't understand the contact is that I make it really simple. So what I start with first is just one rein and one leg. So you're going to be using left rein and left leg or right rein and right leg. What you're going to do is that you're just going to kind of slide down your left rein. You're going to put your left leg on. And what you want is that your horse just tips their nose like that and that their body follows their nose. So you could see that now I'm gonna do the right. So I'm gonna slide down the right rein. I'm gonna put my right leg on and you see how he bends his neck, his body follows and he turns around. So it's really important that they actually turn. Um, you don't want them to just bend their neck and keep going straight because this is kind of like a one rein stop where you want them to a little bit disengage their hind end. So when I touch the left rein, I want his left hind leg to step forward and across. When I touch the right rein, I want his right hind leg to step forward and across like that. So you're kind of introducing this concept of that when you touch the rein, you get to the hind leg. So that's step number one. And you really wanna practice that and make sure that your horse can bend in both directions before you pick up the rein contact. So when you pick up the rein contact, this horse is kind of interesting because he will sometimes brace and sometimes curl. And I wanna teach him to be on the bit. So when I take up the rein contact, with him, since he wants to curl, I think about having my hands a little bit wide as I take up the contact. And I just want to teach him to kind of be steady, have a steady pressure in the bit that he accepts the contact of the bit. And when he gives me a few strides of just steady contact with his neck soft, like he's still like there, he's bracing. I'm saying, no, I want you to drop your neck a little more there. Then I'll just simply release the reins to him again. Good boy. So that's a way that you can start to introduce the contact where it's really clear. It's like you take up the contact, you wanna get your horse to be soft and on the bit. And like here, he's kind of fussing, I'm just waiting it out. And then when he gives me a few nice moments where he's round and he's kind of holding the bit, then I will release to him, good boy. And then gradually, as your horse starts to understand the contact, you can hold it for longer and longer periods of time. So let me see if I can make him be bad and make him put his head up so I can show you a little more what I'm talking about. So if you're going around and your horse is just, you know, they're above the bit and they're like this, you know, he's, he's not accepting the contact in the way that I want him to. Um, he's a little bit pulling on me, he's inverted in the neck. The first thing that I'm gonna do 
like there. No, I'm going to tell him to turn first of all. Then now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm not going to get my reins much shorter. I'm going to take my hands a little wide until I just feel each corner of his mouth. And I know a lot of you say, well, my trainer tells me not to take my hands wide. You should ideally have your hands hip width apart, but sometimes taking your hands wide and just getting your horse to accept a little bit the contact and come a little bit rounder. And then as he comes a little rounder and more on the contact, my hands go closer together. Now, another thing I wanna mention is while I'm going around here, he's getting a little behind the leg. So, hey, get going. So it's really important and like there, he cantered on his own, but I'm going to make him canter a little forward because it's really important that as you're working on the contact, your horse staying in front of your leg is the first and firm foremost priority. So if your horse has the tendency to just come too much like this, too much above the bit and brace, my tips are number one, take your hands wide to help the horse get a little rounder. And then when they get rounder, put your hands closer together. Another good tip is that if your horse is above the bit, you can do a little bit of that bending like I was showing you at the walk. So you can take like a little left rein and left leg, get the horse to bend a little to the left, and then a little right rein and right leg. Get the horse to bend a little to the right. Good boy. And you see how that starts to get him round and on the bit. Good boy. So now if your horse is the opposite, if your horse tends to curl, which a lot of horses do both, like they'll curl like this and get too low or they'll brace. But if I have a horse that curls and gets like too low and light in the contact. Usually I think about, I push them just a little bit sideways. So I would move him off my inside leg. I would lift a little the inside rein and get him from inside leg and pushing into the outside rein. So let me show you that once the other way. If your horse has a tendency to really curl and get like way too behind the bit and like you feel like you're riding around and you the horse is curling and you have no contact the reins are flopping keep going buddy like this the thing i would do is i would push the horse off the inside leg lift a little you can lift up just make sure you put your hands back down and get the horse going into the outside rein like that good boy Good boy, Jack. And then, you know, the ultimate test of contact is the stretch circle. So when you are doing a good stretch circle, you want the horse to stretch forward and downward. You want them to maintain the same tempo and you want them to just gradually take the reins millimeter by millimeter out of your hands. Like he needs to go there even lower. Good boy. And I'm having to coordinate leg to keep him going. If he pops up, my hands go a little wide and I say, come on, keep going and bend a little to the inside. There. Good boy. Good. And then again, I want to make sure to bring him up and then that I make a nice forward downward transition. Good boy. So those are some tips to help you with the contact. If you're really struggling, work on it from the ground. So teach the horse to bend, teach the horse to go a little in the side reins. Um, it's better off to introduce the concept of the contact and connection first on the ground. But when you're riding, those are some tips that should help you. So let me know in the comments what you're working on with your horse if this was helpful and be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The end.